Runway have just updated their video generation tool. It's called Gen3 Alpha. These images right here are all just text prompts turned to AI video. I have put off talking about generative AI, especially for video for a while, um, but I <laughs> really need to address this now, I think. Because if these results are to be believed, then things are getting very realistic. Now, there are obviously issues, artifacts, oddities in this footage, but I'm not really that interested in those things because I'm more interested in how far this thing has come in quite a short space of time. Between Runway and Sora and any other models that are out there, things are being pushed forward at quite a frightening pace. One thing that I really like about this video is how they've managed to prompt the AI to create similar sweeping through landscape type shots so they can create these match cuts. Based on whatever experiences I've had with AIs and trying to get results that you actually want, that can't have been an easy task. Now, I watched this video yesterday and I realized at a certain point, maybe about now, that I forgot <laughs> that I was looking at AI generated content and just look at it for what it was. Nice, beautiful images. If there's a Turing test out there for AI generated video, then this is getting there because I was able to turn off that part of my brain without thinking about it. That's an indication to me that this is all going in that direction very fast. They're managing to do various looks. I love these eye shots. The way that the eye moves is really quite amazing. Maybe it's the mixture of the epic music and the sweeping shots, but it's starting to provoke an emotional response as well, which I haven't had to anything AI generated yet. Cause I'm usually too focused on picking holes in it, but wow, yeah. Incredible. So this is the video of Gen 1 from a year ago where you would input a video and you could create kind of an overlay and you know, it, it was really rough obviously, but still at the time, groundbreaking stuff, very interesting. You could just film anything and then turn it into something else. So a year ago, that was amazing. And now a year later, we're looking at things that are practically photo real. And as far as picking holes in things goes, we are gonna try this out right now because it is available to everyone. So let's see what we can actually make with this thing. It was 15 pounds a month and I've just paid for a month so that I can test it and get my head around it. What should we make? Drone shot, track in, tallest building as a climber reaches the top. Generate. Oh, uh. oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was unexpected. <laughs> uh, what was that? What is going on with his legs? Let's try another one. Man being chased by a bear in the woods. Generate. What the? <laughs> um, oh, all right, okay. There's a bear. There's a... Oh, hey! hey! <laughs> um. I think we need to add some sound effects to that one. Uh, Sci-fi. Medium close-up bonnet mounted camera. Space fighter pilot dodges laser blasts during huge space battle. His face is full of tension. The spaceship weaves through other much larger capital ships. Panavision 70 lenses, anamorphic 2X, shot on 35 millimeter film stock, made in 1978. Generate. This, mm, okay, not quite what I had in mind from the still, but let's play and see what this is. And um, where's the character? Um, seems like it's getting mixed up between space and ship. These are like ships in water. One more. We're gonna delete everything, and we're gonna just try again. Just, just say sci-fi space battle. Close up of space. Pilot looking scared. Just like that, right? Come on. I had 412 credits. Now doing this one has just knocked 100 credits off. So for 15 pounds, I'm not getting that much. That's still not space. How, how, how much more space can I put in this prompt? Maybe I just can't do space. Space. Dare I add more words? Ship in space black stars. Okay, let's see it full screen. There's a spaceship at least. It understood a spaceship. It's got stars. I think a shot in Unreal would probably look better to be fair. <laughs> space ship black in space with stars. 
cool. This is inevitable. Video generation is going to be the way things are done in however many years. At the moment, it's kind of just in that infancy stage. It can do some really impressive stuff, but it <laughs> maybe can't do what you ask. But this will be high quality, photo reel, believable. You'll have longer clips than 10 seconds and you'll be able to get multiple angles of the same scene. It's inevitable. It's just where it's going. If this is where it is now after one year, then yes. What does that mean for filmmakers, for, for filmmaking? Maybe cameras still exist. Maybe they don't. Maybe cameras no longer see with sensors and they see with neural net. Works. I know some people have made short films with this. I don't know how, <laughs> but that's probably just my like novice level. I'm not like I'm not a pro at AI generation. I I don't know how much fun creating a movie entirely based on typing into a screen is going to be. <laughs> to be honest, I mean I've been making films since I was nine years old, and I'm pretty invested in the craft and the process of making films traditionally. Uh, even though I'm working in Unreal and doing things with technology. This is kind of just a whole departure because even the stuff that I'm doing with Unreal is still based upon filmmaking craft and understanding cameras and lenses and lighting. This strips that away in a lot of ways because it doesn't, maybe because it doesn't fully understand what you're telling it yet. Once it can understand that you're typing in a particular Kelvin and a certain camera, a certain sensor, that would be very interesting. I don't know again though how fun that's going to be to make films with. I know I'm going to get comments about cope, but that's fine. I mean, I'm not beholden to anyone. I can make films however I want. So what does all of this mean? Please pop some comments below. I want to get into discussion about this. Where's it going? What's the future of this? Is it just a glorified tool? Is it going to fall by the wayside in favor of something else? That would be really interesting. Tell me what your thoughts are and I'll see you on the next one.